Hello, today is Thursday, January 7th. Here are the directions for today. Please watch this whole short but important video. Today, I'm going to talk to you about what your artwork choices are for this week being due Monday, January 11th. First option, number one, is to create an artwork in the pop art super flat style of Takashi Murakami. This, clicking through on the link, is uh, in its own little show. I want you to first check out the links and resources on the following slides. Create an original artwork using pop culture icon um, and create an overall pattern in the style of Takashi Murakami. This can be done digitally or on paper. Um, and I give you lots of examples and um, the opportunity to do your own research, um, think about your own subject matter, all of that stuff. So here is that slide, and I, you might recognize this show. This is, I already showed you some of this already. He used traditional Japanese subject matter, the influence um, that he was interested in from anime, and that's how he came up, um, in part, simplistically, with the whole um, super flat style. So using what you've heard, what you've seen, and maybe even some more um, research into it that you do, you want to come up with some ideas about um, pop art imagery, um, sort of things that our culture takes as, um, you know, symbols maybe, or other kind of easily um, identifiable things that Americans like, or, um, you know, could depart from just typical Western culture as well, but things that, that we would like, okay? So to create an artwork in the style of pop art, super flat style, you would use, um, well, he used playful icons inspired by his interest in anime and traditional Japanese art. So what kinds of things then could you use? So I just brainstormed a few. These are not the things that you would be required to use, but you could use. So here are um, some examples to get you started thinking, okay? So I was thinking things from pop culture could be stuff like um, AirPods, technology things, AirPods or um, cell phones or phones, um, headphones of other kinds, like just tech stuff. Then um, I was thinking along uh, the mar great marketing scheme um, Coke, Pepsi, power drinks, then there's so much in the way of celebrities. And that's like on all platforms and formats, like athletes, musicians, TikTok, you know, whatever. And then sports logos being another one, um, or athlete, you know, athletes could be with that too. As far as traditional Western art styles. So where, um, Takashi was inspired by, um, traditional, uh, uh, block printing, I suggest for um, Western art, which is different, still life or bottles or fruit, you know, that little setup, um, portraits of important people. That's a really common thing throughout all of Western art. The rich people that could afford the money, um, could afford the, the chance to get portraits, they were the ones that um, uh, pulled that off. Landscapes, both in photography and painting have been a go-to for um, Western artists. And then also crafts, and especially throughout the history of the Americas and Western art, but also there's been a resurgence of that, like cross-stitching and needlepoint and embroidery and quilting and, all, and knitting and all kinds of things like that. So then um, you should uh, start generating some ideas Check out the links and resources again, sketching. You need a good subject that you could draw <laughs> or duplicate over and over again um, and bring in color. Because remember, this is the color unit. So I decided to use the um, go with the Coke and Pepsi sort of idea and like how there's always been this like rivalry and sort of back and forth war and the logos are really important to the branding. Um, and that's become sort of like this icon in pop culture all itself. Um, so that's pretty interesting. So I sketched out a couple ideas, one where it looked like a quilt format, one that looked like a still life, and then one that was an overall effect like his flower. Then you want to start to develop um, your composition. 
You could have an all over pattern um, repeating across the entire thing um, or like him, or you could start to think about what would it be like if it was a more traditional Western style. So then quilting is a really big thing in my family. And like my mom was a huge quilter and people in her family before her. So I was really thinking about how um, I could incorporate that idea into my new artwork. So that's the one I went with. And I have a screenshot here um, showing some of the things that I did. But I also want to show how, um, and lastly, how to really concentrate on making deliberate choices every step of the way. With this one, you really want to think about choices in your color, how you overlap, the size of your subjects, and so on. So here's my finished piece. And remember, I came, I started with this sketch, and as I proceeded to work on it, I made um, some, you know, decisions along the way. I copied and pasted. I ended up really liking this. I got really into it. So I have a little video here, um, that's very short. Actually, it's just a sound bite. I meant to say it was a recording where I talked a lot about my choices and why I did one thing over another, how I came up with the drawing representing the Coke logo and the Pepsi logo, because you can't just straight up be stealing these things. Okay. Where this is not an appropriation, um, uh, project. This is, you know, an original artwork. So um, I had to redesign those things, but I have that stuff um, in the little audio clip and you are welcome to listen to it. Here is the uh, reflection question sheet and you would attach it here. So if we go back, this is kind of walking you through those um, steps. Okay. So I gave you my example. Yours could look very different. It can be more closely inspired by Takashi and have an overall print, that's totally possible. Okay, so that's number one, create an artwork in a pop art super flat style. Number two, create a rainbow themed artwork. Many options for materials. You know what, I think we'll come back to that one. So number three, submit, submit three photographs that are totally about color in the style of Adam Hillman. So we looked a little bit at this slideshow too. He cuts and peels and arranges his multicolored subjects very deliberately to create brilliant artworks. So if you click on that wheel down there, you'll go to his store and be able to see some more of his artworks there. Here is a click out to the um, article about him. What's key and essential here is the deliberate placement of colors plus tints and shades to bring attention to different parts with no manipulation in an app, just the photograph. So here you're gonna aim for clear, clean and neutral backgrounds um, and the POV of bird's eye view, straight from above, no distortion. So you're gonna to have to plan ahead. You're gonna to have to establish like a clean area to work. You're gonna to have to make sure you have the right tools to shoot your photographs. Um, so thinking about what you could use and what you might like to use, you could definitely go with the candy, but if you didn't want to use candy or if that's inconvenient, you could use other things. So I just threw down a bunch, make sure that whatever you pick, you have permission for. Okay, I don't want you to get in trouble or get me in trouble. Um, if you're wrecking stuff or wasting food and your um, house is not you know, in support of that. Here um, are some um, directions to help you get started. You definitely want to have a plan first, at least to some um, extent, so that you're not winging it in a way that causes you a problem. Um, sometimes when we wing it, brilliant things happen, but most often we make the work a lot harder for ourselves, okay? Choose and create a good subject, uh, excuse me, a good space and surface for your work. It needs to be clean and clear and not distracting. Make sure whatever you're using, you have permission. <laughs> Be deliberate in your choices. Um, shoot your photographs from above. You want to avoid keystoning, which means um, if your camera gets a little bit off, it'll look like the bottom or the top is wider. That does not work. It's distortion and we don't want it. So please don't let it happen. Take more than one photo because sometimes you screw up. Sometimes uh, it's out of focus, so make sure you choose more than one and do, um, or take more than one and then choose the best. And make sure you have good light. You can crop and adjust on your phone. Now you're supposed to have three, so I would not 
think for a second that they would be the size and complexity of Adam Hillman's. So keep it a little bit smaller in scale and try three different um, ideas. Here's the sheet for question reflection and then there's the attachment. The last one is different in that it is not inspired or attached to any artist. It's more open-ended um, intentionally. So the last one, create an artwork that is emphasizing color, a themed rainbow, and organized in an effective composition. This is very open for an artwork choice. Rainbow is the theme and requirement. So what else? Deliberately organized composition with emphasis on color, a clear focal point worthy of looking at, <laughs> open subject matter and materials. So you can kind of do whatever you want. However, I'm trying to make it clear also that you can't just draw a red, an orange, a yellow, a blue, a green, and a purple line on a paper and be like, yep, that's a rainbow. And that's what I'm handing it. Okay. So I will be really important to see what you do on your um, weekly artist log to show me what your ideas are because it really does need to be deliberate with a clear focal point that's worth it. So just to show you some ideas, oops, sorry, I want to move that up a little bit, show you some ideas and also um, point out what's good about these. Darn it, I'm trying to just make that part go away, but I can't. Okay, so things uh, that I found on the internet that I um, think that you could enjoy and do something like this, but totally not saying do this, you know, just ideas. Blended, bright, and vibrant. You could use colored pencil or an app with that, especially with that oil brush effect. Subjects do not have to be um, realistic. They could be creative in lots of ways. Uh, photography or photography and digital compositing. If you wanted to do that, you definitely could. Drawing an illustration, whatever your drawing style is, on paper or on your um, iPad. So there's lots of room for you to bring your own ideas in. It can be a rainbow, but it doesn't have to be. And fairly simple in design idea, but should be a complete idea and deliberately creative. So, you know, um, a rainbow is totally acceptable, but has to feel like, again, it wasn't done by your three-year-old sibling. You'll brainstorm and plan your artwork, give me an idea through your WAL, and then answer the reflection questions and attach on the next slide. Okay, so here you are answering to what your ideas were and how you made them and how you supported them, and then attach it. The last thing to note is that today, um, which is Thursday, you need to attach um, and complete your weekly artist log. You'll do that before you complete and finish your um, artwork that's due on Monday the 11th. So you need to do this once you've started your artwork, but not when it's finished. If you haven't started this artwork yet, don't fill this out because this shows me your in-progress work so I can give you feedback on it meant to be done in the middle once you've started it, but it's not finished. Okay, so that is the uh, lesson instructions for today, which is Thursday. Go back a couple slides here. There we go. Intro to 111 Artworks, and now it's a work day. And your WAL is due today. If you are working on your artwork and you're staying on track, that's what should happen. Remember that you had a classwork due on January 5th, which was Tuesday. So if you haven't gotten that turned in yet, you sure better be on it. Email me any questions you have.